Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's summarize what we've learned so far about trying to deliver the maximum average power to the load resistor, or in this case, the load impedance or the load circuit. Here we have a schematic of what that looks like. We're going to take our circuit that delivers the power and find the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin impedance. And then we have the load impedance attached to our circuit. We want to deliver the maximum power to that circuit. Notice that the current through the circuit is going to be equal to the voltage divided by the total impedance. So here we have the average power delivered to the circuit, which is one half I squared times the load resistor. If we then realize that the current that's in here can be defined as the voltage divided by the impedance, it'll be the Thevenin voltage that's supplied by the circuit, and the impedance which can be found by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the two legs, the resistance leg and the reactance leg. That gives us the total impedance. If we now square both sides, we have I squared is equal to V squared divided by this quantity squared, so then I squared in the equation will be replaced by V squared divided by the impedance squared. Notice that to get the average maximum power delivered, we have two conditions. We want the reactance of the load to equal the negative reactance of the Thevenin equivalent circuit. We want the resistance of the load to equal the resistance of the Thevenin equivalent circuit. If we then replace those two, we can replace the load resistor by the Thevenin resistor, the load resistor by the Thevenin resistor here, and since X of L now becomes equal to the negative X of the Thevenin equivalent circuit, this then goes to zero, and we end up with just this portion of the equation with R sub L replaced by R of the Thevenin circuit. If we take the denominator and square it, we get two times the resistance of the Thevenin circuit squared. That gives us 4R squared. This R cancels out with one of those. The 2 goes to the denominator. And the maximum average power delivered, we need to make sure we understand that that's the maximum average power delivered, of course it's a sinusoidal circuit, that is equal to the Thevenin voltage squared divided by 8 times the Thevenin resistance. That is the, that is the maximum power delivered to the load circuit, the load impedance that we attach to the circuit delivering the power. And then we've learned that to get the maximum, we must make sure that these two conditions are true. If these two conditions are true, then this is the power delivered to the circuit. And that's how it's done.